What's up, everybody? This is Salen Slayer. Welcome back to another Play Battle League video. So, guys, Holiday Cup Great League edition has started. It's similar to like Great League, but there's some restriction in Holiday Cup. You can't use like Water, Fairy, Steel type Pokemon. Example, like Stunt Fish, Galarian, Regis, Steel, Azumar. You can't use. But there are a lot of variety of Pokemon you can use in Holiday Cup. They are still fun to play. Holiday Cup. You can only use like uh, electric, flying, grass, ice, normal, and shadow type. So in today's video, we have like a first team of holiday cups. So today we're gonna fight with the Vigroth, Altaria, Cramnet. So in this video, I'm gonna use Vigroth as the lead safe soft for Altaria and coverage and finisher for we have Cramnet and move set of Pokemon guys. You can see Vigroth. We got Counter, Body Slam, Bulldoze, Altaria. We have Dragon Breath. Sky Attack and Moon Blast and Cramnet. We have Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, and Seed Moon. So as you can see on first battle, Vigroth versus. Uh, Galvantula is like an average start. You can see the damage of Body Slam, guys. Almost take it out. Galvantula is so gonna use the shield here because I know Lunch can do some damage and we all were trying to farm it down his whole health with the counter. But as you all know, he got another Lunch. So I'm gonna use my both the shield here. So we have like the do a take a pretty big risk here. And he got the option. So I'm gonna immediately switch to my Altarian. I hope it's not the Gunk Shot. I think it's a Night Slash. Yep, it's a Night Slash. I want to have both the shield left. Let's deliver with the Sky Attack. I think he like something weaker to Altarian. That's why it doesn't switch. Definitely, it's in another sky attack here, in a night slash here. Uh, let's do one more sky attack, and he just switched to his belly pop. Let's use the sky attack and then bring out our. We have like the two body slam ready, so I'm gonna deliver back to back on belly pop. First, for his shield, I know he's gonna shield this here. We got another one at CMP type, but belly pop got the weather ball, so I hope. Uh, we could just survive on one, one HP and we got the body slam, and belly pop will be like five. So we need like only one seed bomb to knock out uh, Opshagun here. I know Opshagun can de definitely use the Night Slash and it's super effective against him. And we caught the seed bomb and we caught the Opshagun I think. As you can see guys it's bad lead. I use my both the shield against Galantala but still with GG for us this seems like effective. So you can use this team and gain your yellow points guys. And Holiday Cup is like quite good cup to play. So Vigroth was his we now saw it's a bad start because one frenzy plant almost took out like my I think 70% of my health. So I'm gonna shield this here, trying to gain two energy of body slam. I'm gonna deliver back to back. Let's deliver the body slam, do some little amount of damage. As you can see we got almost one. If he doesn't shield this, we can easily take out Venus of us. We're gonna shield this here and let's bring out Cravenant here. Trying to catch his frenzy plant move. I hope it's a frenzy plant. Yep, it's a frenzy plant. As you can see, guys, like super, not very effective, but still take it out like 40% of my health. And opponent just switched to his like Alul and Ninetail. So we have to take it out Alul and Ninetail before you see I have like the Altaria. So first, let's bring out V Growth here. I'm gonna shield this here. We have to take it out Alul and Ninetail. As I told you guys, because if you saw I have like Altaria, you can easily take down my Altaria. Let's use the body slam. I hope this one can knock him out. He just survived on low HP and we almost got him. Yep, let's see. Let's immediately bring out Altaria. And he got the Langton with the water gun. So I'm gonna directly go for the Moon Blast here. And I know Venus is like almost in the danger health. So we just need like two, three Dragon Breath to knock him on. That's uh, that's what I doesn't do the Moon Blast. I know he's gonna catch my move on Venus. So we just over farm him and we got the Moon Blast on Langton. So GG for us. We got the Sky Attack another on. Langton, so as you can see, guys, it's bad lead, but still win. GG. Moving on to next battle. Let's see what opponent got. V growth versus Wiggly Tough. Again, it's an average start. Let's use the. We have like two body slam ready, so gonna deliver back to paper. As you can see, the damage of Char, which can almost take out like 70% of my health. We got another body slam ready. This time we definitely gonna shield this. And yeah, we have to do one more body slam, guys. But unfortunately, he just got the like charge move. So I'm gonna let it go over. We I can't switch to uh, Altaria. Let's bring out Trevenant. We got the shield advantage, and he got the Talo flip. So let's directly go for the Shadow Wall. And then, so if it use the shield, then then go for the Altaria. Switch to Altaria, but he doesn't use the shield. And we got the Talo flip. So let's see what third Pokemon he got. And opponent just surrender because you know can't win. This new like strong team combination. Although this is like weak against like Wall and Frost Slash, but nowadays nobody use Wall Rain. And if you see a Frost Slash, you can easily take him with the Traven and Shadow Claw. If you have like one shield, you can easily take down Frost Slash because Frost is like a squishy Pokemon and Shadow Claw do some like super effective against damage. Against Vigroth versus Galventula. One more body slam. Yep, we got the body slam. Let's see. He's gonna shield this. He's gonna let it go. And opponent just shield this. 
So I'm gonna bring out here. Let's let's bring out Altaria trying to farm his health with the Dragon Breath. Not gonna shield this. Altaria can survive Lunge Discharge. Again, we got the shield advantage, and you got the Credent. I don't know what the Credent attack is. I think it's a body slap. Let's shield this here first. It's trying to over farm. Let's use the sky attack. Yep, as you can see, neutral amount of damage. So this time, I'm not gonna use the shield. I think Altaria can easily survive body slam. Yep, we just survive and we got another body slam. If it doesn't shield this, Gridant will be gone. Let's immediately switch to our Tramnet. So let's see what he got. He got the like Langton with the Water Gun. So again, GG for us guys. We can easily take out Langton with the. We needed like two Shield Bomb first for his shield and opponent just. I think opponent just surrender or he just. Yep, opponent just surrender because you know he can't match Tramnet. So moving on to next battle. Let's see. Vigroth versus Magneton, it's a good start. He just switched to Wigglytuff, so let's bring out Travenant here. Let's deliver back to back Shield Bomb. I'm gonna maintain the advantage here. Let's go for another Shield Bomb. I think Wigglytuff can survive here. But he just used Shield, so we got the advantage. So let's gonna bring out Vigroth here. Can't switch to Altaria. I don't know what third Pokemon he got, so gonna Shield this here. Trying to farm his down his whole health with the counter. So we have like the two three body slam on next Pokemon. Let's see what he bring. And he just bring his Langton, I think. So let's go for the directly bulldoze. Let's use the body slam, and then switch to Altaria. I know he's gonna bring his Magneton, but still have to fight. Sky attack, Dragon Breath, Moon Blast doesn't do any much damage, so we have to but deliver some attack. So we need like we have to uh, drag him through the danger health so they can V Growth can easily farm with the counter attack. We can deliver one more sky attack, but unfortunately he got another charge. So gonna let it go, Altaria. We need like three counter attack to knock him out. Yep, we just got him. We need two counter to knock out Langton and opponent just surrender because you know can't win. It's GG for us. Moving on to next one. V Growth is up and it's a good start. Because we got counter and Obstacle also got also counter, but as you can see, the weak root damage of counter like more than him. Let's use the body slam and definitely go for the cross chop. So, gonna shield this here, not gonna take risk, but unfortunately, go for the nice. I didn't know. We just bring this cross slash. As you can see, guys, we have like the bad news here. Not gonna shield this, I'm gonna let it go. My weak root, that's what I told you. I know we Travel is like also weak against powder snow. So gonna shield this here, trying to farm his whole health with the shadow claw. Oh, I can farm it down and yep, we just farm him. Let's use the back to back seed bomb on Obshagun. If he doesn't shield this, he will be gone, but I know he's gonna, I think he's gonna shield this here. Yep, we just shield this. Let's try to catch his move on Altaria. Definitely, it's a Night Slash, and I don't know what third Pokemon you got. I hope not. So, the Ice type one, and it's in Gold Bat. Let's deliver the Sky Attack. I know we we'll go for the Poison Fang, but. I think one sky attack can almost take him to the danger level, or I think knock knock out him. Yeah, we almost got him. As you can see, guys, we have like the frost at the back, and our both the Pokemon are like weak against ice type. As you can see, I, I see like there is a bug in this game. As you can see, I have like farm it down uh, of Shagun with the dragon breath, but my game just got like I, I just win this much, but I don't know what kind of bug is this. My game whole game just got like thought of my net, internet connection gone, so I have like switch off my mobile data on the Wi Fi, but still, game just got like so. I, we, you have to when you see this, like, so you have to exit the game and then come back. That's only can you can come up with this lag. So I just can exit the Pokemon Go. So moving on to next one, Vigroth versus Graveler. It's a good start. He just brings his Obstagon. So obviously, let's switch to Altaria. Graveler is like weak against counter. So I'm going to maintain the type advantage. Let's use the Sky Attack. We almost got him. We need like 2 3 Dragon Breath to knock out the Obstagon. It's a good start because Graveler is like easy to take down against Vigroth. Let's see. What do you bring? He just brings his Graveler. Have to deliver one more Sky Attack, so we have to do some damage. You can see, not very effective, but still we almost take it out like 50, more than 50% of it. Let's bring out Travenant here. Can't switch to Vira. I have to see what third Pokemon you got. I'm gonna shield this here, trying to farm it down his whole health with the Shadow Claw. Let's bring out Vigor. Let's farm it down his health with the Counter. We almost got him, guys. As you can see, he got like Langton at the back with Water Gun. Let's deliver back to back body slam. We can easily take down Langton with our Travenant here, but 
My opponent didn't even like the advantage. Let's see what he got. Not gonna shield this. Go for the sub. He almost take it out. Another body slam, but he just got us. Let's use the seed bomb. And I think Graveler is like charge move ready. So, I'm gonna shield this here. Not gonna take the risk. As you can see, go for the sub. I thought if you go for the Thunderbolt, I, Graveler will be gone. So, I think we need like 1 or 2 Shadow Claw to knock out Graveler. Yep, we just got the Graveler. So, GG for us. Moving on to next one. Vigro, this is Vigro. Totally have to start. So, he's gonna totally depend upon CMP tire. We got the CMP tire. Doesn't use shield, so I'm not gonna use my shield as well. Let's see who's weaker, like more powerful. Got another body slam. I think this time we definitely gonna shield this. And he doesn't shield this. Got him his weak growth, and he got the frost last. So let's bring out Travnant. Yes, I told you guys, just farm it down his whole health with the shadow claw. With we have we have like the, both the shield now, so I can easily take it down. Let's use the seed bomb back to back. We got two seed bomb ready before his off launch. And he definitely gonna shield this here again. So I'm gonna shield my use my shield as well. And let's see what third Pokemon he got. And he got the like lang turn guys. So another GG for us. We got almost two seed bomb ready. As you can see guys in, uh, in holiday cup nobody use fire type so my second team D, second team will be like i'm gonna use teleflame so be ready for teleflame is like really great in holiday cup so the, nobody uses uh, fire type pokemon there are a lot of fire weakness pokemon in his holiday cup he just switched to shadow victory so obviously let's bring out our itaria uh, definitely bring his dust prance Let's deliver the sky attack. Do some little amount of damage. Again, let's go for the sky attack here. I almost take him to the danger health, I think. Yep. And we almost farm it down to the dragon bird. So gonna let it go, Altaria. Let's bring out Vigro. We need like one counter to knock him out. And he just switched to I don't know what Pokemon his name. Deliver back to my body slam. Let's switch to our Travnet. Wim Scott, sorry, I didn't know his name. Wim Scott. Let's use the shield, trying to farm it down his whole health with the Shadow Claw. And we need like two Shadow Claw to knock out Dust Prance. So another GG for us. You can see opponent like the, both the shield left. He doesn't use his shield, and we just knock him out his whole team. Moving on to next one. Vigro, this is Stungfish. Stungfish is like also good, but let's see. Let's use the Body Slam. He can do Mud Bomb or Discharge. We almost take him to the mo almost 50%, so we have to deliver one more counter to knock him out before another body slam let's over farm him and he just switched to his level 90 so let's bring out Travnet. gonna shield this here because you definitely go for the weather ball super effective against him let's over farm him let's use the back to back seed bomb i hope he uses shield yep he just uses shield let's go for another seed bomb and he doesn't use both the shield now so we got the advantage let's bring out v growth let's use the Body slam and knock out the alone 90. Let's see what he bring. He just bring his V growth. Let's deliver the body slam. Almost taking 50% of it. Let's bring out Altaria. So we need to just to farm it down his whole health with the dragon breath. Not gonna shield this here. I'm gonna sh you know, I'm gonna use shield at last moment. I know you have like two body slam ready, and I know Stunkfish have like the discharge ready. So he just bring his Stunkfish. So I'm gonna shield this here. Use the moon blast because sky attack doesn't do much effect. And I hope this Moonblast can knock him out. So we need to just yes, dragon one dragon blood use in against V Growth. So again GG for us, you can see guys. Easy win, but battle is good. Moving on to next one. V Growth versus Tugong. It's a good start because of Ice Step and we got the counter. Let's use the body slam. We almost taking up like the 50% of his health, and it's definitely it's an icy win. Again, let's try to overfarm him. Let's use the body slam. If he doesn't shield this, Dugong will be gone. And I'm not gonna shield against. Yeah, he almost got him because you can see he just survived on low HP. So I'm gonna let it go. D uh, v Growth here. Let's bring out Travenant, farm it down to the Shadow Claw. And I hope it's not the Fire type Pokemon. Let's see what he got. Go the Superior. Let's directly go for the Shadow Ball and surprise the opponent because I know Superior can do ADLS also. Let's bring out Altaria, but he just got the charge move. We got this Shadow Ball, it's CMP, so not gonna shield it. Let's see, it's Aerial Ace. 
as I told you. Like trying to farm his whole health with the Shadow Claw. Let's see your third Pokemon you got. And he got the Diggers B at the end. So another GG for us guys. Because Diggers B is like the no match against Altaria. His all the attack like I think Earthquake and Fire Punch are the standard moveset of in Holiday Cup or Great League. I mean, we can easily take down Diggers B with, against Altaria. So not gonna shield any of his charge moves. Let's see how much uh, Fire Punch Fire Punch can do. And our opponent should surrender. I don't know why he still play. For the sky attack let's use the sky attack in doesn't have any shield left so it doesn't got any chances from here to win but i don't know why it still be thought i have like the bad internet connection or something so i'm gonna lose but that's not gonna happen we need to one more sky attack so now i'm not gonna use sky attack i'm gonna farm it down his health with the dragon breath let's give him like the long death let's see gg for us moving on to next battle let's see what opponent got Told you guys, Holiday Cup is like fun to play, just like Great League. V Growth versus Nine Tail. It's an average start. Let's gain the two energy of Body Slam. I'm gonna deliver back to back, and I'll go for the Weather Ball. Let's use the Shield. Let's deliver the Body Slam. And he just usually like trying to gain a one more Body Slam, but if I go for the <laughs> two Body Slam again, where he can farm it down with the Charm. Let's use the Body Slam and let's immediately switch to Travenant. And he just bring his V growth. V growth are like body slam, counter, bulldozer, doesn't do any much effect on Travenant. Got another seed bomb ready, and I think he go for the bulldoze. And let's see, not gonna shield this. We go for the bulldoze, we just survive. Let's use the one more body seed bomb here and knock him out. And he have like the Altaria at the back guys, we almost got the Seed Bomb here. So guys, first let's bring out v Grow, trying to deliver one more Body Slam. And yep, so we can easily take him down my Altaria with my Dragon Breath. And I know he have like the Alolan Knight, he shouldn't switch to Alolan Knight just to farm it down my little bit health with the Charm. So I'm gonna shield this here. And I think Alolan Knight is like almost gone, that's why he doesn't switch. Yep, he just farmed down his whole health with the Dragon Breath. So GG for us guys, you can see with bad lead. Moving on to next battle. V Growth versus Tallow Flame. As I told you guys, nobody uses Fire Type Pokemon, so it's like a quite good to use Fire Type now. So my definitely second team on is will be the Tallow Flame lead. Let's use the Body Slam again. If he doesn't shield this, he will be gone. And that's what I thought. He just uses shield and he just farm it down as well as the Flame Charge. So let's bring out Altaria. And if you go for the Brave Bird, we, we got like two attack buff. Sorry, one attack buff. I'm gonna shield this here again, not gonna take risk. And he just did a mistake. He should switch. He can't. He doesn't switch to Langton here. He got the advantage a little bit. If he doesn't switch to Langton, he got the advantage. So, but he switched in between the battle. So we have two Seed Bomb ready. Let's go for another Seed Bomb. Knock him out. Not knock him out, but putting him to danger and trying to farm it down his whole health with the shadow close so we have like the loaded energy for next pokemon let's hope i can farm it down and yep we just calmed up us he just got another surf ready so gonna let it go traveling here let's bring out itaria and let's see what he got he got the mill tank let's use the back-to-back -back sky attack here i don't know what mill tank charge move is i think body slam or something and yep it's some body slam almost got sky attack here I hope this one can knock him out. We need only like 2-3 Dragon Breath to knock out Tallow Flame, 2-3 Dragon Breath to knock out Langton because he's all the Pokemon are like alive. We got the Mill Tank, Mill Tank gone, Tallow Flame gone, and so Langton gone, Tallow Flame gone. So as you can see, guys, GG for us. So that's all for today video, guys. That's all for today battle. So you can see these teams like totally work. So thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel.